Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missionos Lego Robotics. Well, happy August 1st and FLL Mission Reveal Day. Um, if you haven't already seen, I've uh, go ahead, I went ahead and left the link to the Into Orbit missions. Um, so they go over the missions and the point values. Um, I'm impressed. I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get to it. So um, what I'm going to do in this video is some of you have asked kind of what my timeline is for FLL. Like, you know, what should I be doing in this particular week or month? I'll try to break it down for you. I know some of your seasons are different than mine. So I might try to just break it down um, as I do it. And then I might just throw in like week one or month one, and then <clears throat> maybe you guys can take it from there. So again, don't forget the Into Orbit uh, mission uh, link down there in the description. Okay, so right now it's August 1st. Um, we start school August 8th. So um, what I try to really do as soon as we come back to school is... Um, the, the finances part of our school um, has it to where as soon as I come back to school, we start to register the teams and then we want, you know, definitely to get that, the mat and models. We have to get those early. If not, um, I think my first year we got them maybe, you know, September, I want to say. And it just didn't give us the full amount of time to really practice and then so I just made a pack with myself. I said every year, my, and it gets crazy. The first week of, you know, a couple of weeks of school, you know, you're trying to welcome the new kids, get everything ready. And then you're having to also worry about registration for the teams and the mat and the models. So that's something that I just have to tell myself, get, get ready. And then the first uh, month of August, it's just um, looking out for the students <clears throat> just kind of see what skills they might be bringing um, if they're going to be brand new. And I obviously like your teams might have some returning students. So in this first month, I do two things. I try to um, definitely have conversations with the students who have done FLL before and say, hey, are you still on board? Because you guys know it's a pretty heavy commitment. And I just want to make sure that things are still you know, because as an FLO coach, you cannot assume that if they were super excited last year, they're going to be super excited again this year. Um, I've had numerous uh, FLO students just, you know, they find different interests and that's okay. But that's what you need to find out early on is that student who did really well last year, are they going to still be with you this year? So I definitely throw out my feelers and say, hey, are you still going to be interested awesome you know you're you still have a spot on the team and if somebody says you know what I'm not interested anymore you definitely want to plug somebody else in that you feel has the skills and commitment level that they need to be able to do well in FLL so that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for the students who might be brand new that I've never seen before that might be able to fill that spot somebody maybe who's in a year two that you know they had really good skills from last year that you might say hey I really like what you did last year you you want to you know fill the spot that we have on the FLL team so that's basically what I would do in month month one is have the mat and models uh, bought put the models together I would start to put out the feelers again for uh, team members returning team members to see if they're still you know interested be watching for new students that you feel like whoa they're they're very um, you know they can build they can program they can speak well um, they can explain things to you so that takes me through the month of August then in September we kind of we invite all the team members that will be committed to the teams and then that's when we start to piece together the teams which person's going to be on which team, their team name if they want to change it, um, getting the group dynamics together, and then actually start to practice, you know, certain missions. And then I have them break it down. We sit together. Um, you might check out some of the videos. Oh, sorry about that. Check out some of the videos that I've done before on taking the FLL board. I'll 
I'll leave that link at the end of this video. Um, but splitting the board, looking to see what missions they want to do and combine, um, what's, what's something that, you know, in the general area of this mission, can they do another mission there? So we kind of take September and break down and dissect the FLL board by points, by difficulty of the mission, and seeing whether, you know, that's when we really start to piece together the practice. We don't want to just blindly practice. We want to practice, hey, we want to do this mission and then this mission, put those things together, <clears throat> and then start to talk about what we're going to do for our project. So um, in that second month, whatever month you might be in, but for me it's September, that's when we really start to hammer out the ideas. Hammer, hammer out the ideas for what missions they want to do, the project. Um, we start to find out what skills each member has to bring to the table so that way we can utilize each person's strengths um, to benefit the whole team. So that's September. October, we're actually ready to start putting everything together. Um, we want to practice our runs like we would in a real competition. We actually have a scrimmage that we always go to in October. So I, I tell my students for at least the robot game, you guys gotta be ready. We can't go to the scrimmage just not having a clue what we're doing. So um, the third month, we're putting everything together that we would for a real robot game run. We're finalizing our project because we know Early in that fourth month, November, that's when we, we go to our competition, our qualifying tournament. So we want to have everything, you know, scheduled out. So again, you know, if we can jump back to September, that's when we want to schedule everything out. Um, by this date, we want to have our project decided on what we're going to, you know, what our project's going to be. By this date, we'd like to have so many points in the robot game. By this date, we would have wanted to practice our core values. Um, what you know? What do we want to do for core values? Practicing doing things together as a team. By this date, we want to have picked what's our presentation going to be for our project. So, um, for core values, that's what the judges love. They want to see that your team is able to plan everything out, so that way we make the most use of our time and we're not hurrying around. We're not you know rushing we want to you know be solid so that's basically it are those four months broken up and you know if you have any other questions like hey when do you in your four months do you do this you can throw that down in the comments section but I'm super excited August 1st is always so exciting because you have this new theme and now you want to be able to see every mission and You've been waiting, you know, however many months since our last competition to start this new one. So, one last time, check out the Into Orbit mission link down there at the bottom. And then um, if you want to, at the end, check out some of my FLL planning or strategizing video to see what you and your team might be able to do. But anyway, um, yeah, when it turns August 1st, it's on. We start to now really see the new FLL theme and the school year taking shape. So best of luck to, to you guys, um, whatever year you might be in, especially if in your first year, hit me up with some questions. Um, you know, not, not, not that I am some kind of expert or guru, but I can offer the best advice I can at this point. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.